Hello and welcome to episode 13 of this game dev vlog. Apologies for the delay of this episode, I had quite a busy week. I started by reducing the strength of the shadows. This was suggested both in the comments and over on Reddit. I think they stand out a bit less than before, which is good, but I'm also aware that there are still some issues with the lighting. Now I want to work on the new building system. The system works in multiple stages. First I define the logical structure of a building. At the moment I can add posts and walls that connect these posts. You can see a visualization here. Now I need to write generators that turn these abstract shapes into actual structures. The first generators are now finished. Because I haven't added support for planks back in, I had to improvise a bit. As much as I like this new floor type, I will replace it now. The plank generator was still not capable of generating arbitrarily oriented planks for some reason, and my first attempt at fixing it did not go quite as planned. I have now eliminated those errors. Next I will need to port the floor and wall generator over to the new system, which unfortunately will also take some time. I decided to rework the system a bit to make it more flexible and started again by adding posts. After that, I can add planks to that. It should be quite easy to make them longer than one gap, but I'll do that later. Now I instead want to take the opportunity to work on the corners. I'm pretty sure that using this new system, I can make the different pieces connect to each other properly instead of clipping into each other. I do this by allowing surfaces to attach to each other. After that, I spent multiple days pulling my hair out due to a stupid off by one error, which I fixed in the wrong direction, which in turn caused the information about the walled attachments to be flipped. After finally fixing that, the system allows me to compute the exact plank end position so that they touch the supporting wall in the correct location. The main issue here is that I always have to define one wall that is attached to the other one. This is not perfect, but I have some ideas how to fix that. I wanted to design some cool new walls in this episode, but as I mentioned I had a busy week, so you have to wait some more for walls. If you want to ensure that you see them, feel free to subscribe. I'm quite happy with the internal design of the new system, and while it's still going to take some time to adapt the building animations to it, I'm optimistic that it will be pretty cool once it's done. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.